All right, later, let's talk about road trips in the US. The best road trip in the US is the Pacific Coast Highway. Where's that? It's a gorgeous drive along the coast of California. Oh, that sounds amazing. Where would it take me? Take your car to San Francisco, then head north towards Portland. Beautiful. I'm looking forward to showing my Australian ignorance about US roads here. How does it relate to Kings Canyon National Park? Because that place is on my list. The PCH is the most famous American road, but there are many great roads in the USA. Why do you want to go to Kings Canyon Park? I've heard great things about the trees there. Who told you about the trees? My doctoral supervisor. And what can you tell me about the trees at Kings Canyon? Kings Canyon is a beautiful place. It is located in California, USA. It is a national park and it has many beautiful trees. The trees in the park are sequoia, redwood, Douglas fir, and white fir. Yes, and they have a few of the largest trees in the world there, right? Yes, the General Sherman tree is the largest tree in the world by volume. How big is that? The average circumference of this giant is about 65.5 meters, or 213 feet. That is absolutely massive. Yes, it is. Is it still growing? It's already at least 2,000 years old. Wow, that almost sounds made up. What's the relationship between Kings Canyon and Sequoia National Park? Kings Canyon is the larger of the two parks, and Sequoia is the smaller. Okay, and how does it compare to Yosemite? It's a bit more crowded, but it's also much prettier. Which one is prettier? I like the trees in Yosemite better. It sounds like there's just so much in Cali and Arizona. I could explore it for months. Tell me about fun road trips on the West Coast. There are many fun road trips on the West Coast. Like? I'd suggest a road trip from San Francisco to LA. <laughs> okay. You can take the nine mile scenic route at Lake Hughes and then take the 210 to the 101. That sounds like something Californians say. <laughs> yes. My favourite state is California. I've done a tiny bit of Route 66. Where does that start? The route starts in Chicago, Illinois, and runs through Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. Well, I suppose the important question is, who did the best cover of Route 66? The best cover of Route 66 is the one that you listen to. I think it's the Rolling Stones. <laughs> awesome. Well, here in Oz, we'd recognize the Depeche Mode cover as the best. I think the original is better. What would be on your mixtape while driving Route 66? Well, if you are driving in a car, there are so many things to listen to. If you are in a train, it's hard to enjoy music because of the noise. But in a plane or in a spaceship, there is no noise so you can listen to music all the time. <laughs> what driving songs would you listen to? I'd rather ride around with you by Reba McIntyre, Bad Habit by Cake, Moonlight Drive by Primus, Radar Love by Golden Earring, Highway Star by Deep Purple. Wow, some fun ones in there. Yes, and some classics like Born to be Wild, Living on a Prayer, The Boys of Summer. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely American. Where would you stay on a big road trip? I would stay in a motel. Any good motels on that drive? Yes, there are a few good motels on that drive. Like what? I can recommend the Motel 6 in San Jose, California. Awesome. Tell me some other favorite road trips across America. I'd say the Midwest is the most beautiful area of the US. Mm -hmm. There's so much culture and you can see so many different things. I would definitely recommend going to Colorado Colorado Springs or Denver. Excellent. All the way down to New Mexico. There's so much to see there. Is New Mexico Midwest? Yes, but the most popular part is Albuquerque, with a population of 2.6 million. My friend Iris is a famous finger painter there. What do you think of this incredible piece she did? This is the view from my window. 
<laughs> Tell me more. I can give you a short history of this area. However, I'm not sure if it's relevant. Tell me. The Spanish conquistadors came through here in the 16th century. They found it to be a very rich, fertile land. Okay, later. Let's get back on track. What car should I drive on a road trip across America? For a road trip across the United States, the best choice is the Toyota Camry. Hmm, boring. Not really. I think the 2017 model year is great. It's very safe, reliable, and comfortable. What about something more classic? Well, if you want something more classic, check out the new Chevy Bel Air. Beautiful. <laughs> what about something more modern? If you're looking for something modern, the Volvo XC60 is a great choice. Mm. Can we do something futuristic? There's a lot to choose from. The Tesla Model 3 is a popular choice, but you have to be willing to pay for the technology. Mm. Sounds like so much fun. I'm not sure the battery life is enough for a road trip, but it's definitely an interesting car. Here in Western Australia, we have an electric highway, which means charges all the way down the state. Does America have something like that? Yes, the US is very advanced in this area. We haven't even scratched the surface of amazing road trips across America. Let's go back to this one. Look at the top of the tree. <laughs> What do you see? The tree has a branch that is bent. What else? There is a small animal lurking in the bushes. Wow, what is it? A tiny mouse. <laughs> what else? There is a small bird flying in the sky. At night? Yes, the moon is shining bright tonight. I was going to say something about the weather, but I have a feeling you would have a better understanding of what I mean. Do you know someone in the media who can spread the word about the rapid progress of AI? All major news outlets would be helpful. They can grab a media pack at lifearchitect.ai slash media.